Hey guys, and what's going on? My name is Bridget, and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day wherever you are. And today's video is going to be another anti haul. So I believe this is number nine or maybe ten out of my anti haul series. And today I'm going to tell you about some makeup products that I am not going to purchase and why. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Alright guys, don't forget to start with today's video. Would you mind hitting the subscribe button down below for me? I'd really appreciate it. I put a video every single freaking day, sometimes two a day, and you always have something new to watch. And yeah, it'd be really cool if you did. So these are going to be items that I'm not going to purchase that are makeup or beauty related. And I'm going to give you some reasons why and like why I just don't think it's worth the money or worth my time. So let's start off with number one. And um, I have two things from ColourPop that I'm not going to purchase. Now this is from the new Valentine's Day releases. They always put so many releases out that it's really hard to keep up with. But these are the ColourPop Supernova Shadows. They are like a liquid shadow. They kind of just look like a glittery gloss but they go on your eyes. And I do not like liquid shadows. They really just want to crease. When you have a hooded lid like me and you like look at yourself and you can't see your eyelid. It's going to crease. It's going to be really gross. I'm always worried that a liquid eyeshadow is not going to dry down. It's going to be like really sticky. And I just don't think it's that cute. It just looks like a lip gloss that you put on your eyeballs. And it's just, <laughs> I don't know. It's not, I'm not into it. Next, oh, also... Before I start to the next thing, these are $7 and there's five shades if you do want them. Next up from ColourPop, I have the Lux Lipsticks. Now, they released four, uh, 24 colors. There is a huge PR box you can get for $168 or you can get the regular box set for $150 or you can buy them individually for $7. Now, there are 24 colors. They're a stick lipstick formulation. The little star pattern that's on the lipsticks themselves is super cute. It's a really gorgeous pattern. It looks really nicely and cleanly imprinted in there. But, um, I don't like stick lipsticks. I want to be able to eat and go throughout the day and not worry about bringing the lipstick with me. Like, that's why I wear a mat all the time. Because, you know, I'm just lazy and I don't feel like touching it up. Or having my straw covered in, like, that, that residue from the lipstick. I don't like that. Next up is something that I couldn't buy anyways because I am cruelty free, but even if I they were a cruelty free brand, I wouldn't buy it. It is the MAC X Jeremy Scott collaboration. Now hear me out. You guys might really like this guy. That's cool. Whatever. I don't know who he is. But I get that it's supposed to be music themed. There are three palettes. There's a lip palette, a cheek palette, and an eyeshadow palette. And they're musically themed in the design of the packaging, but look how much wasted space is up there. I know you're trying to conv convey like music through the like the, you know, the design and stuff, but it's so much wasted space. It really seems unnecessary, especially for that eyeshadow palette. Like, I think everyone should take into account the quality of the product, how much space it's gonna take, and how much product is in there. So these are like little pan sizes. The palette's a pretty good size itself, but most of it's empty. And then when you're storing your eyeshadow palette, you really gotta take into account. How bad do you want this as compared to like how much space is it going to take up? Because if you're like me and have a lot of palettes and a lot of makeup, if you buy a really big palette, it better be really worth it to take up all that space. And that thing is like half empty. So no thank you. Also, uh, one of the palettes is $75. The other two are $35. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Next up is the Visart Trist palette. This is a limited edition Beautylish exclusive palette and it is $49 and it only has nine colors in it. Like I don't understand. It only has nine freaking colors in it and it's $49. At least make it a 12 palette. You know like a 12 color palette. And the colors just aren't super interesting. I don't get the huge appeal to this. Some people were like oh this is gonna be my staple. Like give me I know, I love a neutral eye makeup, even though I'm going for like a green today. I love a neutral eye makeup, but good grief, there's not much range in that palette, especially for $49. I could go into any other palette and get all those colors out of it. Give me any Too Faced palette and all those shades are in there. Next up is something that I am so over. And some of you guys, I don't know why there's no outrage. Everybody's outraged about inclusivity, but they're not outraged about this new Lancome Custom strobing drops. There are four shades, none of which would fit my pale skin. There are four shades. 
they are $35 each and I don't get the appeal of like the drop things. I don't get it. It's like a time race streaking down your face. Some people do it under the foundation. Some people do it on top and it's just going to rub away your foundation where you're putting your highlight. Like I don't get it. It's not for me and I couldn't wear it anyways, you guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Next up is the Melt Cosmetics Unconventional Nudes Lipsticks. There are four shades at $19 each, or you can buy all four for $60. There is two oranges, a gray, and like a camely nude color. The reason I don't like these is one, again, I don't like stiff lipsticks. Stick lipsticks are weird. Second of all, all of these shades are going to make your teeth look yellow. They're all shades, maybe not the gray one as much, but that camely kind of nude and those oranges, they make your teeth look yellow, and I'm not about that. Also, it's like end of winter trying to get into spring. It doesn't seem like the time to release these kind of colors. It seems like you'd wait for like end of summer, beginning of fall to release colors like this, you know? Like maybe right before October, there'd be gorgeous colors then. But like right now, I don't, I don't get why they're releasing these colors right now. Anyways, that is my video for today, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more anti hauls give me a thumbs up on this video so I know. I try to be nice about every product, even though, like, you know, sometimes I get, I'm not happy about some stuff. Anyways, I hope you guys have an awesome day wherever you are. I will see you in my next video. I put a video out every single freaking day, so you always something new to watch. And, yeah, who doesn't like more YouTube videos? All right, bye, guys. Anyways, that is it for you. Uh, anyways, that is it for the video you today. Ugh.